Sunday, September 8th, 2013. Episode number 200. One ounce of silver is $24. One bitcoin is $125. Peace News Now is brought to you in part by friends of WeUseCoins.com. Learn about bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. A 12-year-old boy is being targeted by the Idaho Tax Commission for setting up a small raspberry stand without giving the state a cut of his earnings. 12-year-old Tayson Weeks decided to sell raspberries from his family's farm to save up for a small motorized bicycle. But on the second day of selling raspberries to his neighbors, Tayson was confronted by bureaucrats from the tax commission. According to the boy's father, the bureaucrats handed his son a tax form and gave him until October 15th to send the state 6% of his earnings or they will take legal action against the boy. The father explained that when he was a boy, he would sell his family's farm produce to neighbors all the time and it never involved any taxes or threats by state agents. The bureaucrats justified their actions, quote, Our mission is to advance fairness. It's unclear at this time whether or not Tayson will pay the state or even continue with his raspberry stand. This story brought to you by the Sons of Liberty Mint. Trade value for value with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. Four quarters to a troy ounce. The most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today at sonsoflibertymint.com. Northern California residents are fed up with what they see as a lack of representation at the state capitol. This week, they voted in favor of separating from the state. Supporters say it would restore local control over decision-making, but the vote appears mostly symbolic since secession would require approval from the state legislature and the U.S. Congress. They want other rural counties in Northern California and Southern Oregon to join them in the creation of a new state called the State of Jefferson. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet app at blockchain.info. New Hampshire has 424 state legislators, the most in America. They work part-time for a mere $100 a year. Only New Mexico pays its lawmakers less, nothing. California, by contrast, pays its legislators over $90,000 a year. Fortunately, there aren't so many of them. Interestingly, all of the high-paying states are in big financial trouble. Who could have guessed? Speaking of New Hampshire, in freekeen.com news, attorney John Meyer recently proved in court that the people calling themselves the city of Keene have been illegally issuing no trespass orders to people they don't want in Central Square. Now, Meyer has filed a motion to dismiss the criminal trespass case against Robin Hooder Graham Colson. In it, Meyer argues that Graham's constitutional rights to due process were violated since he never received a trial for his so-called violation of skateboarding in the park. He was simply judged guilty and sentenced by the same cop who alleged he committed a crime. Meyer also argues the order is an unconstitutional violation of Graham's free speech rights as it bans him from a public common, historically used to express ideas. The amount of government malfeasance in this case is astounding. Thank you, John Meyer. This story brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com. Learn about Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. Speaking of Bitcoin, a new website has appeared for fans of Bitcoin to share with friends and family. TryBTC.com. At TryBTC.com, users are taken through the simple step-by-step process of opening a Bitcoin wallet and sending and receiving Bitcoin from start to finish. It's free. Go ahead and try it today at trybtc.com. This week, Sovereign Tactics founder Randy Stroud won a court case against the state in which it was alleged that he had committed a crime by driving without a state registration or a state driver's license. He fought the charge using legal mumbo-jumbo and won! This is rare, but it does happen. Randy will be joining Peace News Now's live show tonight to share with you the secrets to his success. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you in part by friends of WeUseCoins.com. I want you to share this episode, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.